welcome to core runner youtube channel in today's video we are going to see today's skill rank daily challenge and daily test solution so first we are going to see today's daily challenge solution so in today's daily challenge we give an sql statement and we need to retrieve all the sql data from the table according to the given condition so this is the table structure the table name is given as player and this table contains our columns like id name country gold gold medals count silver medals count bronze medal counts and this are the instruction what we going to do we need to write a sql statement to select a, a column id and the name from the player from the table called the player and the condition is given for us the country is must be the india and the gold medals count is greater than 5 and the silver medal count is should be greater than 10 and the bronze medal count is should be greater than 15 and here also they given a note so after fetching all the data we need to sort the sql table according to id in ascending order so now i going to show the code so this is the sql solution in this first line i fetch a column detail id and the name from the table player and i fetch the data according to the given condition that was the first condition is country equal to india and gold medals count greater than 5 and the silver medals count greater than 10 and bronze medals count greater than 10 so this all condition must be satisfied so i use the and operator and to get the data according to the condition we need var and after fetch all the required data we need to order the table by the id so i used the order by statement to order the fetched data according to id so default this value is assigned so we did not need to mention it as assigned so that's all about today's daily challenge now we are going to see today's daily test solution so this is our daily test question in the question they given a two integer x and y as an input and the program must print the most repeated digit if it is a prime integer and the prime integer must be in the range of x to y and we also need to check if more than one digit have a repeated same maximum number of times we need to print a largest digit among those digits the boundary condition of x and y is given us from in the range from 2 to 10 power 8 this is our first input so 2 is our x value and 11 is our y value now we going to see the explanation so the prime numbers between the range from 2 to 11 is 2 3 5 7 and 11 so there are five different digits here so the digits are 1 2 3 5 7 so here they mentioned it and the frequency of digit 1 is 2 and the frequency of digit 2 is 1 the frequency of digit 3 is 1 and the frequency of digit 5 is 1 and the frequency of digit 7 is 1 here the digit which has a maximum frequency is 1 with a frequency count of 2 so the output is 1 so what is the frequency of 7 is also 2 so then the result will be 7 only because in the question they mentioned if more than one digit repeated a maximum number of times so we need to print the largest digit among those digits so the output is 7 so now i going to show the code so here i already written the, the solution in python so our main code starts here so this is our first in case input and this frequency are going going to contain a 10 element a default value of zeros so why 10 element we all know that digits range from 0 to 9 only so for that i i created an array of 10 element with default value of 0 so initially all the digits uh, default frequency count is set to 0 and then i used a for loop to iterate a number one by one in the range of x to y and we know in python the range stop at the minus one so i add y plus one here and then i pass a each integer in this range the function prime number so if this this current integer i is a prime number then this function is going to return true otherwise this function is going to return false so if this function return true then the left side condition is satisfied and this in the under operator is going to check the right condition so if this function return false 
then the and the operator stop did not going to check the right side condition so suppose if i is a prime number this function going to return true and then this and the operator going to check for left side condition so in this left side i call a update frequency function so this function going to update the frequency array of digit contained in this integer i so after updating all the frequency of prime number then i use here another for loop to get a maximum number so initially i denote the rest result is zero so here in this frequency array the index is used as a number and the values is used as a frequency count so for that i, I iterate from index 1 to 10 so default value i set to is zero and in this if condition i go into check if the current result frequency is less than or i frequency then i go into update my result i used equal to sign here because in the question they given if both number as a same integer we go into return a maximum digit so i used e equal to sign here so after we get a result i go into print the result so now, now we go into see what is prime and the update frequency function that so here is a prime function so we all know if we check if a number is a prime number from value to and up to a square root of n if the passed number n is a prime number then the n is divisible by any integer among in the range 2 to square root of n and this function going to return false otherwise it going to return true so and then this update frequency function take each integer from n 1 by 1 and the each integer is considered as a index of this frequency array the frequency of the current integer is going to be incremented by 1 that's all about this code so now we going to see the time complexity and space complexity of the code and the time complexity of the code is o of n star square root of n so this n represent how many integer in the range of x x to y and the square root of n represent to calculate if it is a prime number or not so this function has a standard time complexity of up to 20 digits only so we all know there is we cannot store a digit max greater than 2 power 16 so this function has a standard time complexity of up to 20 digit only so we can simply consider it as a o of one time complexity so and this for loop is also going to iterate in a standard time of 1 to 9 9 only so we can also consider this uh, time time complexity as also o of 1 so next we going to analyze the space complexity of the solution so that here only i created a array of size 10 element so this is also always a standard space comp so here we also consider a space complexity as o of 1 and i also provided a solution for dt in c++ and java also 